Oh no! Your friends are fine, they're just having fun. <sighs> Weirdo. So why don't you join them, Amanda? Oh. This, th these games are dark, man. It's all fun and games, all cutesy animatronics, until they actually think. Until you actually stop and think about what's going on. I like that uh, purple guy. Looks like the Hamburglar. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where we're pre-filmed. That is kind of going without saying by the essence of it being GT Not Live. So hey, hi, welcome to a rainy day here in North Carolina. Rainy outside. Steph and I were just sprinting outside to frantically put duct tape over what we expect is the source of the leaking happening into our house, because true to form, we have a leaky house again. Which, I, I don't know what it is, man. Home ownership is the best. But you roll a dice, you think you get something that's well constructed, and for the most part it is. Water's a tricky one, though, because it's fluid. It's not a solid, so it'll find any small crack it can and shove its way in there. And then if it gets cold, it's going to freeze, expand things, and then make a bigger crack for itself and just let in all its little H2O brethren. Water sucks, man. I know that like 70% of my body is water right now. I just want to rip it out and say no, no. And actually that's probably not true. About 70% of my body right now is diet soda. I've been really tired lately. There's a lot of work going on. And so I've just been consuming, fallen hard on the diet soda bandwagon, my friends. I I've fallen hard off the wagon. I'm hoping in the next like two weeks or so, I'll uh, purge it from my system and go back to like iced tea and stuff. But man, it has been rough lately uh but anyway long story short house is leaking storms rolling in and so steph and i are outside in the torrential downpour being like no throw out the tarps lock it in with this stupid duct tape that doesn't tear we'll see if we found what the leak is uh if our if i do not need scuba equipment when i go upstairs uh that means that we were successful so fingers crossed on all fronts um We'll find out together, and then we'll find a permanent solution if that was the case. Uh, meanwhile, big news, Matt got contact lenses. I don't even recognize them anymore. Me or Matt. I know. New year, new me. <laughs> well, no. It's new, just, it's I was going to say, it's a little late in the year for new year. Hey, you know, start it whenever, man. It just does, it doesn't have to be January 1st. Start that new year right now. Yeah. It's it's po it's it's like end of COVID. End of COVID, new uh, you. Oh, okay. I right? like that. Right? I like that. COVID. So, yeah. All that was like just, it's the remainder of 2020. You know, you're right, actually. Long, it was like long division, remainder three. Yeah, June does feel like like the official start of 2021. Right, 2021, man. Weird year that like keeps feeling like it's getting started and then doesn't. And oh you're my like, God, it's June. I know, it's <laughs> June. It's, right? Let that sink like, in. We're like halfway there. Yeah, it is June. That's crazy. Isn't that, that is the halfway mark of the year. It's wild. I don't know what happened with this year. This year's been even to me. Twenty twenty was actually more crisp than twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one's been very blurry. I don't know why. I think it's because I keep expecting stuff to open up and happen. Like everyone's in this like weird transitional phase of like, well, COVID's uh, largely over, but like the vaccines are happening, but maybe not quite. Like, and so everyone's in this like middle ground. It's like this gray area of. Are we open? Are we not? Are we masking? Are we not? Is everyone vaccinated? Are they not? Like, are we traveling? Are we not? And and so you're in this like, it's it's like the transition year. It's like you're waiting at the airport for your flight to take off, and they keep like delaying the flight. I think that's what it feels like to me. Huh? Cause, Poetic. Cause, well, I don't know, cause uh, to me, like for instance, normally at this time of the year, we'd be going to like. E3 and VidCon, which are our big two, like, June, July events. Like, these two big conventions. One for the gaming side, one for the YouTube side. That just happen, and they're really fun, and they kind of mark the summer. Like, those are some highlights to us. But instead, E3 is kind of happening virtually, and uh, VidCon was pushed October. And so you don't, you're still, like, missing a lot of those, like, key markers of, like, this is normalcy. So I don't know. It's it's been it's been an odd ride. Yeah. I like your new contacts. Thank you. I feel naked. Do you? Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm sure. Naked. 
without your glasses? Yeah. Thank yeah. God for masks. Because mm -hmm. now you don't have to see my whole face any, anywhere I go. <laughs> well, I was going to say, it's it's unfortunate that you just got contact lenses now. I know. Because th the worst thing about glasses and yeah. masks the was the fog. The it fog sucked. is brutal. It's, it's awful. Yeah. If I walk into any store, yeah, just... it's five minutes of, of <laughs> me feeling blindly. <laughs> Knocking over cans on the shelf. <laughs> like, oh man, this guy's spreading his germs. And God over. forbid it's raining. Oh, oh geez, no. no, just straight out. Yeah, no. I, I take them off and I just go blind into the world. <laughs> Hopefully no one hits you in the parking lot. <laughs> no, it looks good. Congratulations. That's a, that's a big one. Thank you. Cool. All right. So, hey, uh, that's our that's our life updates for all of you who care. Uh, meanwhile, welcome to GT Not Live for all of you who skipped the witty banter portion of today's episode. Uh, today we're playing Super Five Nights at Freddy's, which is a Super Nintendo style Five Nights at Freddy's game that came out a while ago. Apparently, I don't know. This looks cool. It lo I, I've heard good things about it. It's something that you guys have requested uh, done on the Game Theory subreddit. So I'm curious. You know that to me, the Super Nintendo was like the pinnacle of gaming, which A, shows my age, but B, I don't know. Those games hold up real well. Like N64 stuff, eh, the graphics don't really hold up all that hot. PlayStation, there are some classics in there, but again, like that was a weird similar to 2021, a weird transitional era when it comes to graphics. Um, PlayStation 2 and, and that era, GameCube, better. They were starting to figure out how to do, like, aesthetic choices that let games feel more timeless. Uh, but, man, this, the sprite and pixel animation that came with the Super Nintendo era and some of the titles that came out of that era are just, to this day, some of my favorites because the stories that were told were incredible. The art styles are just really endearing and persist to this very day. So I'm curious, what what happens when you cross Five Nights at Freddy's with my favorite era of gaming? We're going to find out, friendos. Uh, so here we go. This is Super Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, before the game starts, arrow keys, okay, move. I don't even know what type of game this is. I Again, do you know anything about this, Matt? Or you're just like, hey, it has Five Nights at Freddy's in the name, and it says Super, so it must be great. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> That is the level of quality control I expect out of the team. Well done, Matt. It has super in the name. All right. <laughs> oh, I can jump with shift and space. Was so it a platformer? Run with control. Switch character. So I'm playing as different animatronics with C. Okay, shift is jump. Control is run. Inventory I, full screen. Map toggle M. Okay. Uses lighting engine, uses reflections and uh, background animation, special transitions. Ooh, normal transit. Let's, let's, let's do PC mode. Let's get high quality with this. All right, let's see what this got. I don't know. I'm excited. LSF Development presents Super Five Nights at Freddy's. I wish, I don't know if it'll have this. I'd love it if there was like a really poorly digitized voice that said Super Five Nights at Freddy's because I feel like most games of that era had kind of the over-to-the-top cheesy announcer who, did, who just read you the title on the title screen. Captain America and the Avengers! Back when no one cared about them or knew who they were. Ooh, it's an adventure game. <laughs> uh, uh, see? Look, it's an adventure game, Matt. Maybe you couldn't see it without your contacts. Right. No, New Year, New Me. Yeah, yeah, New Year, New You... New ability to see text on screen. What if I really couldn't read this whole time? <laughs> this, you, you, you know, we had uh, Dan, our graphic designer, who, who recently uh, moved on and is pursuing other things. Uh, he was colorblind. So, you know, we had a visual graphic designer who was colorblind. Uh -huh. So And then there's me, who's illiterate. Who's illiterate. So it wouldn't be the first time. Look at this. This is great. It even has a reflection in the water. Great attention to detail. Clap and a half. Night one. Okay, so we have nights. That's exciting. 12 a.m. What do we got? Let's see. We're an animatronic. Go figure. I'm not a security guard. We're really flipping the script here, friends. There has to be a new one. I don't know if this is evil or not. I'm just going to say there has to be a new one. Click. Move. <laughs> yep, there has to be a new one. C, space, shift, control, run, enter. 
Uh huh. It's gonna be one of these buttons. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if I actually hit something. Is it him? What button did I accidentally hit that moved things forward? <laughs> oh, it's just very slow text crawl. The last one wasn't him. So are we talking about murderers? Or else we would finally be free. Okay, it sounds like they're talking about Afton. And I think my keyboard just had to warm up. It's fine. Go and check on the guard. Find out if it's him. Okay, so if the security guard is Afton, presumably. Or if the security guard is like our... Wow, it's already 1 a.m. Great. Okay, there's the jump. Here's the run. Can, can I talk? Okay, and did you check on the night guard already? I did not. I did not. That is not a thing that I already did. So E interacts with things. How do I get rid of text? <laughs> okay, there we go. E. Talk to me, talk to me. Another one of these nights. I want all of this to end, okay. Great. Long nights, impossible odds. Okay, there's an arrow, let me just check out everything before we go. Oh wait, I can go down. Cool poster, I love the pixel art. Oh wow, I have a lot of different options here. There's the security cam, the love the detail of the security camera following me? This is incredible. Can I go through the exit? Yes, okay, so now I'm in the entrance. As much as I'd like to leave this accursed place, I can't! Okay. So it's not Q, not W, not E. What? Why can I not get rid of text bubbles that easily? I'm sorry, that's the, that's the persistent terror of this game. So W is a menu full of different kinds of pizza! Yep, so it is. Ooh, I, okay, so I can jump on all sorts of things. Nothing there, okay. W, okay, I wonder if there's still something in the register. Let's look at it. Let's check it out. I would love to check that out, please. I guess we'll have to do that later. Okay, go through here. This is great. Ooh, and the map. Oh, cool, the map is actually like tilting and changing based on where I'm going. Oh, that's awesome. So now I'm in the big dining area in the middle. Oh, this is great. I love this already. Best FNAF game, 10 out of 10. Party hats. Okay, great. Are those faces in the, oh no, those are just arcade games behind me. Let's see. Party, more, yep, more party hats. So they are. There we go. How cool is this? I love this so much. Already. I don't want to go there. That's Freddy and Chica's hallway. Haha. <laughs> so he's restricted to where he goes, where he goes in the game. That's funny. Can I go down this hallway? I can, because this is my hallway. Okay, so if this is my hallway, then that means that the security guard should be right. I should be coming up here. I'm sure this kid's proud that his picture is hanging on this wall. Oh, it's true. It's a point of pride. Oh, hello. Hello, RQX. RQ, X, whatever, whatever. Wait a minute, a black rabbit? A glitch rabbit? Oh, here we go. Checking on the security guard. There's the puppet. What do we got? What do we got? What's inside? Is anyone in there? Ha <laughs> ha! Peek! Peeking in! Hey! Red Bear's Family Diner. Oh, back in 1985! When was this game made? 2016. Hey, Richie! The only reason I ask that is because... 
1985 thing... Th that's weird. So, the 1985 thing is... Something that, um... That only really came out in Into the Pit. So, Fazbear Frights number one, Into the Pit, was really the first piece of Five Nights at Freddy's media that explicitly said, like, hey, Missing Children's Incident was 1985 and called out 85 as a specific date. So it's interesting to see a FNAF fan game, first off, with this level of polish. Congratulations, you guys. Uh, it, this is fantastic. Um, but secondly, are you watching other videos while we're filming? What are you doing? I got bored. You were talking too much. <laughs> Man. Wow. No, I'm looking up pertinent FNAF information. Oh, that's okay, good. Yeah. That's the I correct answer. No, I know. I you. pay attention. <laughs> that's good. But no, it's it's weird that the uh and we did a theory all about like how in 1985, like this is weird. It's confirmation of the state that's never appeared anywhere. Um so it was a big deal. So it's interesting that a FNAF fan game, especially one that has like an extreme level of polish already, like the amount of sprites that seem originally created for this thing are just stellar, just stellar. Um to see that directly call out, like, 85 is an important date. It's just really... I'm surprised. I don't know. I don't know what this is. This is... This is kind of weirding me out right now. Hey, Richie! Glad you can make it. The others are over there. Why don't you say hi to them? Sure, thanks for inviting me again. Purple guy. Oh, and happy birthday! Thanks. Oh, it's his birthday. Don't get chomped. Huh. Okay, so now I'm in F Fred Bear's Family Diner. Hey, buddy. W. Glad you can make it. Come, meet the others. Okay. Can I go into this secret door? I wonder what's behind this door. I'm dressed in purple. That's important. It's always important. It's a picture of Fredbear. I love that guy. Hello, girl. Hey, Richie. Are you ex as excited as I am? We'll have so much fun today. Or will we? Okay, so you gotta hit both. Okay, so I, f I, I figured out the controls. It's very exciting. Uh, here we go. Yar! You think you're gonna... We're gonna see Foxy today? You know, he's my favorite. Hey, security puppet. You are creeptastic. <laughs> Hello, child. Have a fun time at Fred Bear's. Please take care and don't follow strangers. Well, thank you, security puppet. 2016. What, what installment was 2016? Was that before or after Custom Night? Or not Custom Night. Before or after... Pizzeria Simulator, because Pizzeria Simulator is also where the puppet as a security device became a thing. Look up when FNAF 6 came out. Was it 2016? It might be. The timing of this is really interesting. That cake looks tasty. I can't wait to eat a piece. Uh, FNAF 6 came out in 2017. Uh, the game you're playing was released October 12, 2016. So... Did we, the time, okay, this is, this is really weirding me out. This game is really weirding me out. It, cause again, we knew that the puppet came out of, we knew the puppet came out of a box. So that's not surprising at all. But the, the fact that the puppet was like specifically like a security device, like something that actively like warned kids or like supervised kids and prevented them from like following strangers and stuff that didn't come out until FNAF 6, Pizzeria Simulator, yeah, because it was after Sister Location, and Pizzeria Simulator had the mini-games, like Midnight Motorist, uh, and the Security Pup game. This is weird. And so this came out a year in advance, and already the puppet was kind of filling that role. This is, and also 95, or 85 being an important date, this game knows a lot of stuff. This is weird. Hey, Richie, can you imagine that we're going to meet the entire crew today? Huh. Weird. I, I, and who knows? Could just be guesses. Could just be... Maybe, maybe Scott's like, wow, this game's really good. Let's, uh, let's actually turn this into my lore. Um, just surprised. I'm surprised. I am surprised by some of the stuff that I'm seeing. Balloons in all kinds of colors. I really like the purplish one. Can I hop on stage? Hello, Fredbear. How are you today? Wait. Where'd Bonnie go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, Richie! Bon's over here! Come quick! Hmm. Oh. Oh, look who he is! 
Hey there, kids! It's me, Bonnie! Yay! Yay! I love Bonnie! I got a special surprise just for you! Follow me and we'll have the greatest party ever! Don't do it! There's nothing to worry about, little children. Oh, yeah. Ah! Are you sure about that one? It's him! Really, so... Ha! So the security guard is in there. Oh, and he's playing the game against me. Oh, that's wild. So wait, if I... Surprise! So can, can I... Huh, I wonder if at a certain point, like, I'll have to force him to, like, run out of battery life to get him or something? Weird! Oh, this is so cool! This is great! Wait, it's my buddy! Hey! It's the doppelganger me! Save me. Yeah? Yes. Is this a save game or a save, like... <laughs> sure! I have been watching since back then. I need your help. I like that he talks in the SpongeBob meme text where it's all uppercase and lowercase. Ah, yeah. I need your help, says RQX, says SpongeBob. Something is tormenting me. Yeah, sure. I can't take it seriously when you talk like that. Use proper casing. Find my death report from 1980. Question mark. Was it ever filed? I don't know. And where do I find this death report? I love this is just animatronics speaking to each other. It has to be in this establishment somewhere. Okay, how about... Maybe they kept some of the paperwork from the other... Lo from the old location. I'll do what I can. Don't go anywhere in the meantime. I wonder what happens if I say no, I'm not gonna help. Just curious. You know what? Nah. There's, there's one too many bodies in this world. Some more buckets, okay. A mop inside of a bucket. Doesn't seem to be any water in here for a long time, okay. A shelf full of stuff used for cleaning the place. And what's over here, anything else? An empty bucket, okay. Huh, the security cameras are still following me. Can I get to the security cameras? Can I get... I got mad ups for a giant robot bunny. I have got mad ups. Like, watch out, world. Here comes Bonnie. <laughs> What's the movie? White men can't jump, but uh, robotic bunny spirits can. Just saying. Balloons, I'd like to be at le as free as them. Oh, maybe one day, buddy. Okay, so that's Freddy's. Should I open the door? I'm trying to think. Eh, there's nothing in FNAF lore that says I shouldn't. So yeah, sure, why not? Let's see us. Oh, hey, I got a guitar. I got my guitar. I don't know what that's going to do, but that's cool. Where do I have? Can I hit inventory? Find Shadow Bonnie's death report. Oh, okay. Yep, that's why I'm working on that. Thank you. Uh, inventory. Right eye is inventory. Does that give me... How do I use things in my inventory? Okay, great. We're just going to save that that's there. And is the 3M t keeping track of how much time I'm using? It's broken. Foxy's Hallway Runner. I need a quarter to play this one. Okay, I don't have a quarter, presumably. Well, what if I say yes? Yes. I do not have a quarter. Okay, so... No, this would not be the appropriate item to use. <laughs> Baby's Cupcake Calamity will probably work in a few weeks. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. That, that is proper timing. Label's unreadable. There's also no electricity. Freddy's fr Freddy and friends still not working. Okay. So, am I, so is the 3 a.m. counting down to story events, or is it counting down to how much activity I do? That's what I'm curious about. Hey, guys. Got to update you. Did you check on the night, night guard? I did. Another one of those nights. I want it all to end. Okay. This is fascinating. And it was him. It's him. It's me. Oh, I hope we get to befriend Golden Freddy. That'd be awesome. Are you sure of it? 
like the other dozens of times. Just keep, you know, if we keep shoving them into our mouth, eventually we'll get one right. It was definitely him. I'd never forget those eyes. So is Richie presumably the Bonnie spirit then, do we think? Hmm. Because he speaks in purple too. Like, Afton speaks in purple, but also Bonnie speaks in purple. What should we do now? Tell Foxy that he decided to show up again. Okay, let's find Foxy. Oh, still me. Still going here. Okay, let's see. Pirate's Cove is... Wait, so did I rotate? I'm trying to also figure out what the, the mechanics of the rotational system are for the map, because that's going to, I'm sure, be important. Shelf full of replacement heads. Endoskeleton. Get yourself into a suit, endoskeleton. Get yourself into a suit! They stopped producing heads for Foxy when they discontinued him. Huh, that's interesting. A bunch of letters. Should I open the door? Yeah, why not? Oh, I get it. It's asking me for the key. Okay, that's what's going on. I've, I've always... See, okay, we're, we're figuring stuff out now. I'm not, I'm not dumb. Shelf full of replacement heads. Okay, yeah, so it, it's pulling down the inventory to ask me if I have a key to open the door. I get it. Play, fun, eat. What else we got? Here's, here's my buddy. Out of order. Don't believe it for a second. Can we go in? It has an arrow. Seems like I should be able to go in. Because all the other arrows let me go in. Hmm. Maybe I need to open it? Okay. So now we're back here. That's my hallway. Okay, here's my hallway. That's Freddy and Chica's hallway, presumably. I can't open that yet. I like, the, I like the carousel of all the characters, and the fact that, okay, Chica makes sense. Foxy feels a bit weird, but like, Bonnie transitioning a rabbit into like the size of a horse that you could ride on. The other animatronics look somewhat okay, but for whatever reason, Bonnie just looks like a llama. Or like an alpaca. Which, to be fair, Underappreciated, underserved, and opportunity animal here in this franchise. Just saying, Scott. We don't have the Haunted Llama yet? Come on. I think it's time. I think it's time we bring on Haunted Llama. Oh wait, maybe I have to hop onto the stage. Th there it is. That's it. Suddenly I'm like, wait, I can jump! Maybe that's important. Wow, it is super dark. Oh, there's I can Canopy. He returned. Foxy's like, what?! Oh, he's like, yeah, are you sure of it? Like the other 87 times. The bite of 87! Not in terms of year, in terms of number of bites. I don't know what he plans, but it is him. I will make him pay for what he has done to us. Alright. I trust ye, Richie. Arr, Richie. I trust ye. Count me in. I mean, you've trusted me, what, 86 times at this point? What's one more time? Like, what else are we doing at this point? We exist in this purgatory for eternity, so we're not really... We're, we're stuck in this pizzeria with, like, seven rooms for eternity. You've done this 86 times. What's one more time? The same thing we do every night, Foxy. Try to kill a security guard! Have you visited Foxy? I did. Another one of those nights. I want this all to end. Well, I, I did it. There we go. Let me let me assume my position. There we go. 6 a.m. Hmm. This is cool. This is really cool. This is a great game. I want to look up the team who made this. I am so curious about the history of this game. This is wild. It's really, I mean, it is time. We will make our first step tonight. I will assist you from now on. Six eyes are better than four. Well, that's... Thanks, Chica. Thanks for... Thanks for doing stuff. <laughs> Here, have the key for the kitchen. You'll get some assistance over there. 
I doubt we'll be able to do this in a matter of two nights. Oh, I, I wonder if there's different endings. If you get the security guard, you can pick up items when the inventory is open. You can pick up items when the inventory is open. Okay. Great. That was very exciting. So that's kitchen key. And can I switch characters? Because it said C switches characters, right? Okay, so now I'm Chica. The music comes out of here. That would make sense. Uh huh. So Chica is usually the one who goes to the kitchen. So I'm curious about that. Can I go into the bathroom? What's in the bathroom? So there's clearly going to be a speedrun component. Surprisingly clean. I feel like toilet surprisingly clean. Toilet surprisingly. Okay, so I, I thought there might. Woo! Look at Chica's graceful leap. She's got a good jeté going right now. Look at that. Good for you, Chica. No need to wash my hands ever. My hands are unclean. Let's check the waste paper basket. It's a trash bin full of paper towels and gir girly makeup residue. Girly makeup residue. Gross. Could have also been a secret key. The men's bathroom. Does this preclude me from going in? No. Okay. Ooh. Wow, that is... That's a broken urinal if I've ever seen one. What maniac blew up a urinal? People don't use them anyway. A, a simple urinal, as opposed to those very complex urinals. See, that's the problems with men's bathrooms, man. Too many urinals and not enough stalls. I should bet. I should better avoid getting water on me. Okay. Empty trash bin. Okay, here we go. Nothing there. I'm expecting there to be some other like little things hidden in trash cans and stuff like this feels like one of those kind of adventure like point and click adventure games where there's all sorts of like items and stuff that you just kind of collect okay so this is the arcade which we were in before Ooh, the vent it's a tiny vent i wonder if anyone can go through there clearly that's going to be important later this one is to open the door is this kitchen oh no bonnie's the one with the key shoot also i have no idea what the cupcake is for no it's not here let me check out this so if i go down this okay another one of those monitors so he's gonna shut the door yep okay Empty shelf. Huh, empty shelf. Can I see him for myself? No, I cannot. Okay, let me let me trade. Ooh, so now whoa, now I'm Foxy. What's items Foxy got? Does he have anything? No, he doesn't have anything. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Get out of the inventory. How do I get out of the inventory? That's the only that's the only thing that's a little bit confusing is the controls are a little bit unclear at times. But now I feel like, wow, Foxy is so fast. Look at him go. Yeah. So is there any reason, like, I wonder if there's a battery power or something. If I could just, like, get the guy to waste all his power. I also love that he signals his approach. The dum -dum -dum. Whoa, hey. Hey, Mangle. Hey, Spirit of Mangle. Can I follow you? Where you go? Where you going, girl? Where you going, fun time Foxy? Going this way? No, nope, you just led me back to where I was. Cool. It's fine. Don't hate it. A little bit confused by it, but that's fine. Here's Foxy! Oh, you jerk. Okay, fine. Yar! You didn't see that one coming, did you? So now both his doors are shut. I don't know if that makes any sort of difference. Probably not. But, just saying. Okay, so all this was here. That's the exit. And then this is... So we're looking for the death report. We're also looking for uh, stuff that we can use in the employee's uh, kitchen. Come on, Bon. There we go. And it does seem like the amount of moves I'm making isn't tied to the click ticking of the timer. So it seems like each night might just be you have to get through a certain series of scripted events. Uh, let's see if we can open this door, if we can. Are you sure you want to use this item? Yes? They, they want to, they really want to make sure that you're comfortable using stuff. 
Hello, puppet. Hello, puppet. Well, what brings you here? Just looking for a death report. We need some information on him. Oh, here's Chica. Yar, Foxy. So fast. You never really told us anything about him. You observed him for years, didn't ye? Missed opportunity for an additional ye in there. Ah, I'm the puppet. So you really want to know everything. And why now, all of a sudden? He has returned. We can use any information we can get. This is great. What? Just, just leave it to the puppet, man. Puppet, puppet will slaughter him. Bring me some decisive proof first. Then we'll talk. Just send the puppet through the... Just look through the vent, man. You can slide your way through the vents. What great help you are. <laughs> that is my only condition. All right, Chica. Find something to prove that he is around. We're counting on ye. I feel like all of us are equally capable of doing whatever this random task is. So I need it to be Chica, huh? So I need to be Chica to do What are you doing, Mangle? What oh hey! Hey, hi. There's there's my good buddy GF. There's my GF. I like that there's no, no response. Just like, yeah, that's a thing. An oven used for baking our trademark pizzas. I cannot talk to you again. Oh I love that it's it's the puppet's music though. Does this thing even work? The fridge. Hmm. So we need proof. Hmm, where are we gonna get proof of this? Let's think about it. Nothing of interest on the shelf. This is oh, just a monitor of some sort. I'm gonna get him to shut me out. Wait. Oh, come on! Way to, way to conserve your battery power until the absolute last minute. Good job. That was, that was well played. Well played there, Afton. Maybe. Maybe Afton. Is this... Hmm. I wonder if this is gonna reveal for us... Yellow balloons. I used to love balloons back then. Does she have the same? These balloons just bring back old bad memories. Huh, so each animatronic has different reactions to the same... Stimuli, that's cool. That's Bonnie and Foxy's territory. Okay. Huh. Interesting. So I wonder if the end result of this is going to be us killing whoever it is, but the reveal is going to be... Get yourself into a suit and just kill me. I wonder if the result is going to be that it was Michael Afton the whole time. Bunch of letters. Can I get the security cam? So this is the other door that's locked. Bonnie had a key. Chica has a cupcake. I wonder if Chica's cupcake can be used for some reason? Also, Mangle, Mangle, what's going on, man? What, what you doing? Let's see, Chica doesn't appear in the vents. The vents would be more of a Bonnie thing, honestly. You can pick up items when your inventory's open. Wait, so, can I pick up something? Is that what you're telling me right now? Can I pick up a party hat? Right, it says you can pick up items when the inventory, okay, so inventory is open. How do I, how do I pick it up? Party hats, yes. Okay, right, so if I inventory, it feels like it's telling me this so I can pick up a party hat. That doesn't, s huh, weird. Maybe not, maybe I'm just making stuff up. Hmm, this is fascinating. I am so intrigued about this game uh, and the fact that it is so, so well done. 
Okay, so this is just me walking around in circles now. Come here, let's talk. I hope they'll cooperate. Hmm. Can Chica... So Chica has a couple... Is there a reason why only Chica can do this? I feel like Bonnie with the key might be the, the better option here. Let's see what this Chica's reaction to stuff is. Many full of different kinds of pizza. So only certain things get our get react differently. Something in the register. Hmm. And do we know what the cupcake does? Or really, how to use it? Find evidence pointing towards him as Chica. As, as Chica, so it does say as Chica. How do I use this? Does it do anything? Not really. Did I miss my chance to prove that RQX is dead? The death note, huh? Nope, okay. Hmm, hmm, I, E, E, F. no, so it, it seems like it's contextual. Like, hey, do you wanna use this thing? when it's available. Get out, get out. Get out the way. There you go. Let me switch. Is that a ghostly Chica spirit? Huh, that's interesting. Hey, Golden Freddy again. Nothing, no response there. Can Foxy do something? Like, it feels like the thing that I'm just missing is picking up an item, <laughs> right? Like, that, it, it seems like I need to pick up an item or use the key again. So here, let me, let me check out my cove real quick, see if there's anything here. Just hanging out. The music comes out of the speakers. It's true. That is pretty accurate. Pretty self-explanatory, honestly. Here, let me use Bonnie. Does Bonnie still have the key or is it used? Okay, it is used. Oh wait, what? Okay, what did I just... Oh, okay, so there I can like mess with the... Oh, this is Chica. And so in FNAF 1, when you go into the kitchen, there's no camera in the kitchen, but you can mess with the sound. So that's you mess, messing up the plates and stuff. That's cool. That's really cool. Cans of tomatoes. Huh. A drink purchasable for two ninety nine. Fridge does this thing even work? Okay. Huh. And I don't have a key anymore. So there is the one door that we won't be able to open. So at this point, it's really boiling down to figure out how to pick up a thing, I feel like. Party hats. So if I in open my inventory, then hit up. Nope. How do I? What else is there to pick up? Party hats. Here, let me. I mean, it seems like it's it's got to be Chica. I assume my position? No. I hope they'll cooperate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, work, we're working on the cooperation thing here. Hmm. What if I do open the inventory, then... No. Interact. Interact. Right, I mean, I, I agree. I wonder if there's something in the register, too, but... I can't open it. That's weird. It'd be super cool if there was actually like a button where I could pick stuff up without having to open the inventory. Bathroom, bathroom. They're in both bathrooms. And then this is the long arcade. Clearly I'm missing rooms or something, right? That's the kitchen. It, it really isn't that big though, is the thing. Here, let me, see, let me see what rooms I've been in. So now if I go there, it's gonna take me to here. Am I 
I need to, I, like, I need to be able to pick this item up. Okay. Yeah. Right? This is very clearly what I need to do. But, so yeah, item, inventory is open. Not space. Yeah, that's, that's the only thing right now is the controls aren't super intuitive. Why did that pick it up? What, what did I do, D? I was either S or D. All right, all right. I, uh, so you have to open the inventory and then I think press either S or D, which is weird because S is cancel, like W is engage with stuff, S is, anyway, I don't know. Hey! Trial and error, we figured it out. Like, I knew that the thing I needed was, like, right here after running around this this building a bunch of times. I knew that it was right there. But, it was, for whatever reason, the controls were just tricky. But, hey, we got him. Nailed it. Chica's looking bored. Okay, so now we're good. Okay. Looks like one of the customers left a photo camera behind. I can surely take a photograph of him with this. Okay. There it is. There we go. Okay, so now we go here. I do have a new item in my inventory. Thank you for telling me. I am aware that I have a new item in my inventory. It's very exciting. So, shoot, was I supposed to have done RQX the first... I bet I was supposed to do RQX the first night, huh? And I, now I'm going to get, like, a not good ending because I didn't do that. That's my prediction. That's okay. As we figure this out, we'll be able to do more. Uh, okay, so now... That explains it. So now I'm going back here. I'm taking a picture of him. That's why his shutting of the door was a little bit delayed. Smell for the birdie! Literally, because I am a bird. No jokes, but all the jokes. I would love it. I would love it if Five Nights at Freddy's actually had a moment where Chica just appeared in the window with a camera. The glare, it used flash though, so the glare off of that glass is just gonna be miserable. Please let me go, Mr. Bonnie. Oh, this is me, this is Susie. I promise I won't tell your secret to anybody. Oof, shh, it's gonna be fine, Amanda. Oh, Amanda, okay. Oh no! Your friends are fine. They're just having fun. <sighs> Weirdo. So why don't you join them, Amanda? Oh. This, th these games are dark, man. It's all fun and games, all cutesy animatronics until they actually think. Until you actually stop and think about what's going on. Richie told the truth after all. It really is him. I like that uh, purple guy. Looks like the Hamburglar. It looks like a purple colored hamburglar with his traditional like look at me i'm a i'm a robber hamburglers come up a lot recently for us a ha a hamburglar well it's probably because i'm researching a mcdonald land that episode sense. that would probably be why i'm heavy into the mcdonald land research uh, and all those classic characters the mcdonald's lore yeah the yeah mcdonald yeah mcdonald's lore why do you, you doubt that there's people like say like oh there's no McDonald's lore there's McDonald's has more lore than most actually I you. yeah hundred percent they're, they're massive so many characters so many characters hey hey GF you want to do anything here you want to hang out no okay just just know I'm here for you cans of tomatoes did you bring the proof I want yes I did yes there you go. Yes, I, I, I did. Here it is. I brought a camera. Are you sure you want to use this item? Yes. It keeps asking me this. Is the, why wouldn't I? Maybe because it ends the night. I like that Golden Freddy decided to join too. He's like, ah, I decided to saunter on over. That is certainly it. Tell you everything I know. Yeah, great. Man, 45 episodes in, and all it took was taking a picture of the guy to finally get the lore about this thing. Well, lay it on me, puppet. Fred Bear's Family Diner. I was staring longingly into the diner. 
Yep. Oh, I can control you again. Okay. You can go inside. You can go inside. I didn't have an invitation to the party. Wow. Fred Bears is exclusive, man. No invitation. No, you're not allowed in. Getting bounced, son. Should I go around back? While everyone was having fun, I was outside motionless. To make matters worse, he came. Oh, here he comes in his purple car. Oh, he's gonna hit me with it. His, his parking is on point. Say what you will about purple guy. He can stop on a dime. For I knew what happened. He jumped out of the car. Stabbed me in the chest. It's an odd choice. Oh, wow. I began to bleed out while I didn't know. I began to bleed out while I didn't know what came over me. Don't run over me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, he drove on. Not saying a single word. Seemingly without remorse. To hang out with his buddy, Pink Guy. A few seconds After a few seconds, my heart stopped and it was all over. It should have been all over. But for some reason, I couldn't find peace. I was stuck in purgatory, pondering about what to do. When I realized that I had gotten a chance to get revenge on my killer. Huh. I possessed one of the attractions inside the diner. Which is standing in front of me right now and lived on. I mean, it's, this is accurate. Waiting, watching. He was security puppet. Weird. For some reason, he always returned to an establishment of the Freddy Fazbear franchise. This is an odd choice. Uh, go to where you're familiar and continue to kill other children. Five of them were you. You know the rest of the story. Our only way out of this eternal nightmare is revenge. Are you kidding me? I thought the only way out of this was to find the 8-bit minigames that are hidden in between nights of FNAF 3, typing in a secret code into the cinder blocks that create the security guard office, finding a couple hidden cupcakes throughout the building, and then delivering a series of oversized three-tiered cakes to dead crying children on the glitchy outskirts of those 8-bit minigames rather than actually accomplishing what you need. At which point then, you do the whole thing over, you find those 8 kids, and then instead of completing the game as natural, you do the last minigame, you double-click the nose, and you're led to, you know, the happiest day where all the spirits are free. That's what I thought you were supposed to do to end this, but I guess revenge also works. Maybe a little bit simpler. I don't know. Anyway, I'm sure you're aware of that by now. God, double click. Bond, double click. That's all story time over. Work with this information as you wish. This was not helpful in the slightest. That was not useful. That was not, not useful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, puppet, but, uh, looking great. You did not offer me a whole heck of a lot there. Kind of bummed about that one. Especially after how long it took me to figure out how to control my dead animatronic arms to lift a camera. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Is it Freddy's turn? This took long enough. I agree. I will take things into my hands now. Alright. Here we go. My hands. Oh, that's that Freddy laugh we all know and love. What you, what you holding in your inventory, Freddy? Microphone. Great. Are we going to show up at his door? Give him a little surprise? Or should I check out the bathrooms? Because Freddy's always checking out the bathrooms. I love I love that he just laughs in every room. Because it's true. That's what he does. It's great. The, the attention to detail on this is really solid. So this is Freddy's. I'm just going to hang out. Here's Freddy! And look, he can jump! Surprise! Didn't expect me to come at 1 a.m., did you? <laughs> did I win? Oh. Maybe if you didn't stand there spooking him. Well, that didn't work out. No, Freddy. It did not. Maybe if you didn't have to play the Toreador march every time. We've got to unite to do this. Or maybe you act faster. Because he was real slow on the uptake there, buddy. 
Okay, so should I talk to my friends or should I actually try to execute a plan? I, let me talk to them. I feel like I need to talk to them first. Like, we're all going to get on the same page about this, this elaborate plan. Where's my boy Golden Freddy? He can just hop in. Also really want to play these arcade games. There's a lot. There's a lot here that's been seeded out. I'm curious where it's all going to go to. Hey, guys. We need to team up. No? Okay. Apparently, apparently we need to team up, but we're not going to talk about it. We're just going to intuitively know. So in the employees only, we've got ourselves this kind of usual stuff. Was there something in, there is something in, the, you know, I, I bet the bunch of letters is where that death certificate for RQX was. I bet, I bet. I'll have to come back. Uh, okay. So we've got a team up, which means that we need to surprise him by... By, by playing the original game in reverse, right? Clearly, that's the solution. Many full of different kinds of pizza, so this is all largely the same. I wonder if there's still something at the register. All right, I'm just gonna check the places. Because, like I said, it seems like different animatronics have different reactions to things. And now that Freddy's on the loose, this is his first time to really explore. Bathroom seem his up his alley. That's his his thing. I really shouldn't go in there. I really shouldn't go in there. I really shouldn't go in there. Okay, well then. No need to wash my hands. That's the same. Ew, I'm not even going to touch what's in the trash bin. Okay, so there are different reactions to like the trash bin and stuff, which leads me to think that there, at some point there's going to be something in them. Urinal's cracked. Blowing up the urinal. We won't use them. Simple urinal. What about this one? But toilet. Okay. Hmm. Avoid getting water, empty trash bin, okay. Hmm. Hey, hey! You're back. Come play with me. Yes. Sure. What are we doing? You wanna play a game? Oh, you wanna play? Yes? Question mark? You're the first one in several years who wants to play with me. Yeah. Oh, are you Shadow? Is that Shadow Freddy? Or... It looks like it, isn't it? Let alone deal with me. Yeah, I tend to ignore you when it comes to lore. I have an idea. Let's play hide and seek. Okay. I'm going to hide now. See ya. Okay. So we got to find our good buddy. Did you hide in a stall? Did you hide in the things that I just checked? I wouldn't be surprised. Just check again since we just did this. There's only so many places he could hide. The nice thing about this is there's not too much to interact with. No need to wash my hands. Really shouldn't go in there. Really shouldn't go in there. Really shouldn't go in there. Great. All right. I doubt he's in the waste paper basket. And there's nothing there. I like that the camera's just following me around the entire time. If I were to predict where he hid, I would guess it's probably in this exit area. Because there's not a whole lot to do over here yet. And I would be wrong. That's fine. I'm comfortable being wrong. No, no biggie. Back this way. The jumping mechanic is an odd one. I'm curious if and how that's going to be helpful in the slightest to these animatronics. Just, just real curious about that one. And the kitchen. Kitchen seems like a good place for him. Hey, bro! Hey, GF, bro. So, you know, he's back and everything. Well, I was wondering if you could uh, help us, please. No! Golden Freddy, be a participator. Can you just... I said no! No, I'm busy. Got my Parcheesi night. Got a bridge game. I better talk with the puppet about this. Tell, let's tell on the puppet. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, puppet. 
Ooh, maybe he's in the freezer. You seem troubled. What's wrong? Big Daddy Puppet's gonna take care of it. Well, it's about gold. I mean, Michael. Interesting that Michael is in Golden Freddy suit. He refuses to listen to anything I say despite the circumstances. Isn't that kind of relatable? Ever since you've been stuck in these bodies, you've been blaming him. Just because it was his birthday and he invited you over to Fred Bear's. Huh. Huh. How do you think he feels after all this time? Left alone with all that guilt resting on his poor soul. Huh. Never looked at it that way. Can't we just apologize? You will find him one arbitrary item. You think everything's gonna be fine with a tiny I'm sorry. Make him a banner and use sprinkle glitter to make it feel special. Celebrate the birthday he never had. And he might just cheer up a little bit. There you go. I'll handle the cake and gifts. Cool, you do the What is the rest? Party hats. I guess. If you're handling the cake and gifts, I got it easy, man. Oh, here he goes. Come forth, children of the night. Help those in need and you shall soon take flight. What are you summoning? Ah, there they are. Our little spirits. For the longest time, this child's world was gray. Go and find the cake for the happiest day. Ah, there it is. Happiest cake. Happiest day minigame. Yes. Oh. Oh, wacky. Oh, so it's legitimately the, like, mini games. Oh, well. Womp womp. Can I run? Okay, I have to I have to run. I was gonna say there's no way I have enough momentum to make that jump. Oh wacky. <laughs> Nailed it. But the real question is do, do I need to glitch it? Oh wait, okay. Oh it's a DDR game. Bum bum bum. Play Dragon Force! Freebird! Freebird, Bonnie! Freebird. It's weird that there was a skip. Oh, I was skipping the song. Rock on. Should I know this song? It sounds familiar. Wow, it's very long. That skip button was not on for long enough. <laughs> it would be nice to know what I'm getting myself into before I hit skip. I yep. I think I got it. What is it? Uh, low by Flo Rida featuring T-Pain. <laughs> yeah, is that it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm picking up. Is that what you're, is that what you're feeling right now? <laughs> okay, but seriously. Oh, God, I can move this whole time. Damn it! I'm like, there's no way this is looping this long. <laughs> Fart. <laughs> oh, and I got the cake slice. Okay. And here's Chica. Oh, give cup. Oh, she's giving cupcakes to everyone. Is this appropriate though? Should I be doing this? Because the the before the appropriate way to beat these mini games was to not actually play the mini games and instead do some arbitrary. Hey, it's Balloon Boy. Some arbitrary task, completely unrelated to them. So you know. There we go. Well, I gave gave gifts, I gave gifts and gave life. There we go. Cool. This one was go over the kids. Oh, no, oh, now we're glitching out. Are we going to see the crying child that's on us? Whoa, hey. Oh, evil purple guy faces. Hilarious. Oh, whoa, I can go down faster. That's also good to know. Woo! Woo! That's very important to have learned because otherwise I don't think I would have been able to do this. Yikes! Okay, cool. Oh, you jerk! Where did you come out of? Damn it! 
Ah, oh, poop. Get out of here. Get out of here, Afton. Afton amalgam. Shoot, I gotta actually take my time. <laughs> Darn it. I'm like, oh, can I? I was so far. Let's do it again. All right, here we go. There's number one. Where are you at? There you go, number two. Number three. Number four. Five. So it does seem like randomized who shows up when and where. Which version of him? Okay, six, seven. Oh, okay, eight. Yeah, made it. All the way down. Ah, oh, classic. This was such a good mini game. We gave gifts. Gave life. <laughs> Assemble the cake. This is fun. This is so cool. This is great. I love this. What a cool game. The fact that a fan made this is mind blowing. Nice. Perfect. Everything is prepared. We can start the party. Hey, we heard there's a party. We've prepared something for you. Is it a song and dance? Please let it be a song and dance. Could you please follow us? Oh, please let it be a showtime. Please give me showtime. <laughs> Teleportation is useful that way. I'm definitely not getting the good ending because I missed the hide and seek with uh, Shadow Freddy, unfortunately. Oh, they prepared something special, i.e. across the room. We have a surprise party for... <laughs> Like, hopefully you weren't looking at anything that was happening literal inches from your face. Oh, that's funny. Happy birthday, Michael. A party for me, but... No, we just need one favor of you. Can you kill someone? <laughs> we threw it. We, get, we, we all pitched in. We all made you this cake, but we need one thing from you in return. Kill a man. Can you do it? It's been wrong of us to blame you for everything that happened back then. Yar. And we'd like to formally apologize. Can we be friends again? Oh, hey, Michael. Thank you. Should I be moving again? No, okay. <laughs> At this point, I gotta make sure that it's not me holding up the process. You better return to the stage now. It's almost 6 a.m. Until tomorrow. See you guys. Bye. Go need all that cake on your own. This is cool. Uh, definitely not getting the good ending because I've now missed what two of the what I presume are secret activities. But this is great. This is super duper cool. I think this is fantastic. Um just high quality like unbelievable the fact that there are so many original assets in this thing is unbelievable here let's uh i don't know if we're gonna be able to save this so let me just make sure that we see this next cutscene. it's time after all those years it's night four man you have at least one more night plus probably two bonus nights how many times have you said that already that's beside the point we'll strike tonight yar I be ready, lads. Arr. Excuse me, I'm getting all excited over here. <laughs> oh man, the gang's all here. The hallucinations are also prepared. Oh man, the hallucinations are prepared. I'm ready as well, friends. Thanks, thanks, GF. You do you, buddy. GF just hanging on the sidelines. Perfect, we're all set. I'll meet you up ahead at the office. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the strategy is just show up on both sides of the door and waste his battery. Let's go, Francis. Aye. Oh, here they go. It's not going to work, is it? All right. So this is a good place to stop. Uh, this is cool. 
this is really cool. I'm excited to, to continue this. I'm assuming it, it feels like the sort of game with multiple endings, probably good ending, bad ending. I'm assuming I'm down the bad ending track right now just because I've missed multiple things. Uh, but, you know, the second time through it will be much faster because we know what's going on. Uh, really, 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 really cool. This is... It, oh, I love the fact that it's still got the Chica breathing, too. Like, uh, across the board, well done. Um, if you want to play this for yourself, link is down in the description below. I highly recommend it. Um, just incredible. It's so good that it makes me suspicious. Like I said, you know, the fact that it had a vague idea that security, the puppet was a security device or... The fact that things were happening in the Missing Children's Incident in 1985. I don't think I'm imagining that 85 was kind of a new inclusion. Anyway, it's, it's interesting across the board. It's a really solid game. Um, I can't wait to see where it's leading towards. So you can bet that we're going to be, be continuing this one. So in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. So remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video for you. See ya!